today I'm here to talk to you about uh, cancer um, and one of the things that prompted this discussion today is uh, the uh, passing of the leader of the official opposition in Canada Jack Layton of the new Democratic Party which let's see some of you are, are in the UK so the um, NDP I would say is like how how labor was uh, or perhaps how the liberal Democrats are I'm not exactly sure but because I've never vo voted in one of your um, elections over there and if you're in the US it's unlike any party that that you have on the on the big level it's not like Democrats or Republicans because it it'd be too left um, <clears throat> anyway Jack Layton uh, had um, beaten one cancer and gotten another and this time it didn't go so well he left an open letter on the Globe and Mail or well an open letter sorry which is available on the Globe and Mail website in PDF and there's a very much an um, um, outpouring from even people who would have never uh, supported the man they all appear to have respected him even as an adversary and many of them who, who even though they didn't like him thought that he would have won the the next election if he had lived to see it well cancer strikes a personal chord in, in my family I've uh, I've lost both of my dad's parents uh, to smoking related cancers my grandpa s smoked <laughs> back when he was underage to do so he was f f f 15 years old and he he just didn't really stop until he was an old man and it was rather too late and his wife who probably got it from second hand to had given up long bef before he had and my mom steps this sister who had had it in her bowel somewhere and only died just a couple years ago and it was it was really profound how it happened I remember because I was in I traveled to Australia and I would st still call my parents every day and I was really worried that that I would be away when she, she died and unable to attend any f funeral uh, but I got back in time and it made her happy that I had been around the world I I told her about it and she made her happy and you always you remember what it it does to people I mean at the end she she, she didn't even look like a, a person anymore she looked a lot like uh, I don't know uh, that's special effect in a movie she and and this always hits home with uh, with so many people cancer and so on that note I was originally thinking of skipping November this year because when I grow a mustache it's a real mustache but it looks really nasty on me but for Jack and for everybody else who who's, who who's had to s suffer and, 
and lose someone that they cared about. I'm going to grow it in November. And I'm going to sh show you every week how much more it's come in. And if anybody wants to donate to help fight the prostate cancer or, or, or whatever we can figure out, I, I'm abs absolutely doing it. And, and, and you're welcome to help in whatever way you can, however small. I mean, because cancer always goes too f far. It, it, it winds up with people living their lives in fear every day. Because even if they beat one kind, they don't know if it'll be back. And, and you know, and, and they worry about their loved ones. And they worry about their pets. Like I lost... The, like, I wasn't the, the, the only one to lose my pet to cancer, either. It happened even with my grandparents that I mentioned. Their cat died of it. it. It really went too far. And me with my with my irritable bowel and, and abdominal pain, because our technology hasn't yet gotten there in a way that is available to a wide a wider range of people on different budgets. I, I I have to worry at times how that abdominal pain is, is going to resolve itself. And no matter what I read, telling me that it it probably isn't cancer unless such and such happens. You just don't know until you, you're told. And there's really only w one thing we can do is to try and find effective avenues where our resources can go so that, so that nobody has to live in fear or pain or f feel that loss for that reason uh, if we can help it and uh, and I'm going to stop now because I can't think of what else I have to say.